I'll tell you, my life is so weird, so interesting, so amazing. It's really weird being the old guy, okay? I mean, <laughs> it's amazing being the old characters on the top of the totem pole speaking the stories to the youngsters. It's pretty wild. Now, listen, the playlists. I just met these beautiful people in a Wendy's grabbing my senior coffee at a Wendy's. And I looked at these people and I'm like, man, if I had had what I had learned about across the past 28 years, I wouldn't have had a bunch of nasty shipwrecks and mess in my life. The whole idea of coaching one another to be content in relationships, either running a life single for a lifetime and keeping the desire passion relatively quiet and not confusing somebody else with sharing the arousal or making your commitment do you know that the mother of Jesus of Nazareth was understood to be about 15 years old when she had her baby, which is the spirit who designed the entire cosmos and universe saying, hey, once you reach reproductive and arousal stage of your life, you ought to be connected with someone to look after and to enjoy. Is it easy? No. Everybody's got bad spirits, troubles, and areas where their buttons get pushed. I mean, come on. Think about this little girl whose daddy died when she was two years old. And her primary life reality is my daddy is in the ground and he's dead. That's like an awareness of death and loss at a very early age. That is an issue to carry on the heart. And I didn't even know how to deal with that issue. So the point is, regardless of who you are going to connect up with and make commitment with, if you can make it, if you can make that connection or that commitment when you're 13 to 17 years old, and it doesn't even mean that you're going to be intimate at that point, but just deciding who your person, I want that person to be my person. I like that person. I want that person to be my person. And I've observed so many different cultures and families. Some of these families in the plain folks, the Mennonites and the Amish, these kids at 18, 8 to 13 years old, these kids know who their person is going to be. They're not even thinking about kissing them and stuff. It's just like they have a confident joy and a, and a connectedness with a certain person. And at some point, I'm going to be like a mommy and daddy person like my parents. And like I have spent so much time just shutting my mouth and observing people's living their lives. And especially for a new season of my life, peoples who are, whatever, acknowledging God or spirit as real and trying to be responsible to those things. But I'm telling you, there are so many dark, ugly, nasty, fake dangers in standard Christianity. Like, you don't even want to go in there until you got your chops together and got understanding. So please, go to my playlists. Christianity Dangers playlist. World Dangers playlist. The Surprise Language Tongues playlist. I mean, there's 
scores of videos, 20 to 150 videos, just on those topics. Not my voice, you know, a few are from my experiences and what I've learned, but a lot of them, the videos are just other voices that are like common voices that I never heard because I was never operating in any of those Jesus, God, church, Bible, spiritual, Jewish, you know, God awareness environments. And I've, I'd spent 24 years checking these places out and taking notes, sh keeping my mouth shut. When I saw something that was nasty or wrong, I wouldn't even speak up. I would just take notes in my notebook and I would rethink how I would do that slightly twisted presentation that somebody did. Anyhow, please go to the playlists, take out a notebook page, scroll through the playlist. There's over 200 playlists and write down any playlist title that seems important or interesting that you would want to know about. And then when you've got time to do some research or you, you want to set other things aside and learn, I'm telling you, I have put out 28 years of amazing discoveries that blew my mind. I'm like, damn it! I wish I had known that when I was six years old. How come somebody didn't tell me that? So I could have communicated with these people and gotten help when somebody was teaching me how to share arousal and like how to handle that and what to do with it without shame or difficulty, but just like logic and goodness and friendliness. Hey man, you know, if you're learning how to paddle a boat and you dump the boat over, you need to learn how to like get the boat to shore and survive after the little problem, right? And I'm a boat paddler and sailor and hiker and, you know, camping and canoeing, you know, good tier guy. So anyhow, I'm just saying hello. Hello from Grandpa Honesty Guy. I've got a, a catheter in my chest that goes to my heart. They clean my blood and I don't know how long I'm gonna live. I'm on dialysis. My kidneys do not work. And I got plans for that kidney stuff. But mainly, I wanna see a team assembled that wants to do all the goodies of truth and be like an amazing group of friends. I don't care at this point that I don't have a person to share arousal with. I had lots and lots and lots of that with marvelous people for a long, long period of time. But I was also under insanity spirits that I thought were ordinary. And I was literally being led around and making decisions under, you know, pride, hate, condemnation, selfishness, and being led by stuff that was actually not me, but was invisible spirit beings. Anyhow, check out the playlist. Have a beautiful life. Go, 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 go. Make it beautiful. Learn how to be remarkably single and learn how to be, learn how to make a full life commitment and have people around you dedicated to helping you be awesome to your person. That's the foundation, man. And the men are judged more harshly. The male human beings actually have a touch more clarity in decision making. The woman power is amazing. She has the power of the body and she has the power of compassion and care and nurture. But she's given a slight downside of being more easily deceived because of her compassion. She's slightly more easily misled. And so the brotherhood, the male human beings, need to look out for the women. When the woman is exhausted, you need to give them space and time to rest because they are our beauty. They are the ones who suffer for our benefit. You know, I mean, the, the female human being is the last and most beautiful part 
of all creation before Yeshua, the suffering servant, showed up. And she is an image of the one who bleeds in order that life comes forth and care and nurture and giving and food and sweetness. I mean, the whole picture that was never presented to me is so awesome. So learn and check out Grandpa Honesty Guy because I'm always loading the information as best I can. Peace.